the idea behind this evening is to derive a bond pricing equation. So we talk about the pricing equation for fixed income instruments. It's going to be a bond pricing equation. This is going to introduce something new, and that's the market price of interest rate risk, which we're going to call lambda. I'll talk about that, why it turns up. And also, popular interest rate models. You've already seen two, Avastacek and Cox Ingersoll Ross. We'll talk about a few other models. I think I've said this right from the outset, that unlike stock prices, where you have the, price, um, the asset price model, i.e. geometric browning motion, for things like interest rates and volatility, there are lots of different types of models, each with their own names, depending on who developed. So let's go to this page here, the spot, in, the spot interest rate. So this is essentially an infinitesimal. The spot interest rate, when we talk about dr equals eta minus gamma r dt, remember, this is something that you've already seen in module one. R here is the spot interest rate. The spot rate is an infinitesimal. It's something that doesn't actually exist in the markets. The reason why it's been introduced is to try and make the mathematical modeling easier. So it's not the kind of thing that's actually traded. So that's the first thing that you're going to note is different to what we've done in module three. In module three, the underlying was S. S is a traded asset. So you can hedge with that. Remember, we set up a delta hedge portfolio where we had V minus delta S, where delta S was a certain amount of the underlying. Well, we can't do that now. We can't have delta R because R here is a notional term. It's an abstract definition. So it doesn't actually exist. So we're gonna have to come, come up with a way to get around the fact that we're not going to be able to say, well, we're now going short a certain amount of the interest rate because it doesn't exist. The spot rate was specifically introduced to allow us to do the mathematical modeling effectively. The most general way we can write down a stochastic differential equation for the spot rate is a drift times dt plus a diffusion times an increment in Brownian motion. This is now going to be our new model for the spot rate. And once you've actually started working with this, then we'll actually start defining particular forms of U and W. So if you look at the expression above, i.e. the Vascheck model, you can see that this would loosely refer to U. The reason I'm using the word loosely will become apparent in a moment, or in about half an hour's time. And the W refers to that root beta. 